In this video, I'm sharing with you these animated dishwasher and washing machine cards that will tell you exactly what phase your appliance is in and how much energy it's currently using. Those cards work with smart dishwashers and washing machines, but if you're using a non-smart appliances, I've got you covered, as I created a version of these cards which work with your regular appliances. Just plug them into a smart plug, and the cards read the power usage patterns to figure out what's happening, like washing, rinsing, spinning, or drying. Stick around because I'll also show you how to customize these cards to make them work for your device, as not all smart devices are the same, so some tweaking is needed. Those cards are built using mushroom cards as a base, so you need to install mushroom cards and mushroom themes. The custom animations I created using card mod. You can simply install these integrations from Home Assistant Community Store, also known as Hacks. More on this in the description for beginners. Now let's create two types of the cards together with live examples. A smart dishwasher card and a dumb washing machine card. Let's start by the smart dishwasher card. I have a dishwasher from this brand and it's integrated into Home Assistant and already exposes many sensors. I believe most other dishwashers from other brands are similar, so it will be easy to adapt. Go to your dashboard view. It's recommended to set the theme to mushroom. I also prefer using this view type, but other view types will work as well. In general, sections or masonry layout are recommended. To make things easier, I created the base cards, which you can copy for free from the link in the description. Select the Smart Dishwasher card and copy the entire card code. Don't worry, we only need to make a few simple tweaks in this small section to make it work for your dishwasher. Back in Home Assistant, create a manual card. Clear everything and paste the code you just copied. Let me pull up my dishwasher integration on the side. These are the states currently supported by my card, like status, progress, and time remaining. If you would also like to see electricity usage, you can use a smart plug power entity. Let's replace the entities one by one. In the main entity section, put the status or progress sensor. Notice how it currently shows as powered off. Now put the progress entity here, which shows the current phase of the dishwasher, such as idle, washing, spinning, and so on. Mine is currently at idle. The next entity is time remaining, which shows how much time is left when the dishwasher is running. Set the max time here to the longest program your dishwasher can run. The card uses this value to calculate and show the progress bar. I will set mine to 180 minutes. If your dishwasher or washing machine provides a percentage-based progress sensor, that would be much more accurate. You can use this optional sensor instead, and the card will automatically handle it. Mine doesn't support that, so I will just leave it. The next section is optional, and is used if your dishwasher has a wattage sensor, or if you are using a smart plug with power monitoring. I personally like to use it because it shows the live usage on the card, which is always nice to have. If you want to change the text, icon, or the top right badge size, then you can do that directly in this section by changing the pixel's value. Finally, if you would like to edit the status names, because your integration labels things differently, you can add them here. For example, you could add something like cleaning. My dishwasher is currently turned off. I will turn it on and wait a little to see how the card behave. You can see how nicely it works. I'm planning on adding more features and fix any possible issues you may face, so feel free to share your feedback in the comments section. Now let's set up a card for a non-smart dishwasher or washing machine using a smart plug with power monitoring. This card works differently, as we'll try to understand what the machine is doing based on its power usage patterns. Get the card from the page. 
Create a manual card and paste it in. Set your smart plug power sensor here and also put it in this section. To show whether the plug is on or off, set the plug switch entity in here. Mine is currently off. When I turn it on, the state changes to idle, letting me know the machine is connected to power. We will skip this advanced option for now and come back to it later. In this field, set the wattage value your washing machine uses during the spinning phase, or if it's a dishwasher, then the heating or drying phase. You can find this value by checking the power sensor chart the next time you use it, or by looking at history usage. In this field, we want to specify the wattage value the machine uses when it turns on. Now the card knows when your device is idle, washing, or spinning based on power usage, and will show card animations and info accordingly. Now let's get back to this section. Sometimes we may have an issue where the machine power usage briefly drops to zero during operations. This can cause the card to switch back to idle until power usage resumes. We can fix this issue by activating this section. Simply, we need to create a custom sensor that adds a delay when the washing machine or dishwasher stops drawing power for a short time. In my case, I set it to 5 minutes, but you can adjust it to fit your device behavior. An added benefit of this section is that we can now show the running time. The card calculates it from the moment the plug starts drawing power until it stops using this delay logic, so time doesn't reset when power drops briefly. Let's save the card for now. To create the sensor for this section, simply add this template to your Home Assistant configuration and change the entity here to match your smart plug entity. If you are a beginner, open your Home Assistant file editor. Open the configurations file. Paste the template we just copied under template if it's already exist. If not, add this entry first, then paste the template. If you're an advanced user, you likely already have your own preferred method to add this template. Now you need to restart Home Assistant to make it recognize this template and create the custom sensor for us. Back to the card, add the custom sensor entity we just created. Save the card. Let's test it. I will start my dumb washing machine and see how the card behaves. The card will start showing washing as soon as the power is above the threshold we set. After one minute, it will stop showing started and display how long it has been running until it finishes the program and stops drawing power. Any brief power loss at the smart plug should not affect the card progress thanks to the template we are using. I'm waiting for your feedback, especially on the dumb dishwasher and washing machine card. The goal is to improve power usage detection by identifying different consumption values during different operation cycles. We can also add more phases like heating and pumping with animations that fits the card. If this helped you, hit like and subscribe for more smart home content and free custom cards every week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.